Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play EVO, The Search for Eden. We got a lot of evolutionary points in the last episode as we trek through the volcanic area of the undersea world that we have before us. And now, it's time to enter the third volcanic area. Because once we go in here... It's gonna get wild. Domain of Cephalus. And these guys. These guys love ganging up on you. Thankfully, we have a very powerful form. So once we take out at least one of them, doing things is going to be a bit easier. Yeah, just don't stand around. You'll be fine. And here's a jellyfish just, just out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and take care of him as well. And we're now nearing the cave that is here. Got a couple more of these guys. And by going through that cave, we pretty much made it through the area here. Once you clear this area, there's no going back. You are stuck in this area. You can't go anywhere else on the map. You can't backtrack to any point. So, once you go through the third volcanic area, you basically hit a no turning back point. So, you better get all of the Evo points that you need before you go through that area before you go through the domain of Cephalus. Anyway, time to start up the next area, which is the Cave of Origin. For some reason, I kept thinking the first cave in this chapter was the Cave of Origin. That's something else. I kept thinking the Cave of Guidance was the Cave of Origin. Nope, this is a cave of origin. I was thinking, of, probably thinking a little too far ahead when I did that. But anyway, now that we are here, we might as well go ahead and fight out some enemies here a little bit. Get behind these trilobites here. Stay on their level so that way their attacks can't get the better of us. Don't know why I dashed in front of that, but, well, we're able to heal our, heal our, the damage we've taken anyway. Managed to get 200 Evo points and 16 health off that one squid there. These guys will try to attack you from below. They just try, when you're lined up with them vertically, they will try to stab you from below. But if you can line yourself up with them, they made for some pretty good Evo point gainage. And as soon as you make it to the end of this little section, you get some dialogue. The seaweed whisper to one another. Friends, the strolites are trying to create a new world using oxygen. I'm assuming that these are the underwater plants we've been seeing all throughout this chapter. They are having trouble because the karatsalaches keep interfering with them. So apparently, there are some fish who are trying to stop evolution. Why is that? Why is that? Well, we're going to go into the dom domain of Karasalach to find out. And if these guys spot you, they are going to take a nab at you. They are going to take quite a bit of a nibble at you. Thankfully, there are some starfish you can eat as you make your way up, so you can heal yourself if need be. And sometimes the game jitters in this area when it's trying to spawn in enemies. Even though the music plays just fine. Thankfully, I know it's not my computer that's doing that. It's just the game. So, pay no mind to that. And thankfully, the 
plants that are here will do a really good job at healing you in case you take a lot of damage. And we want to be careful as we make our way around here. And these guys can be very aggressive. You just want to gotta be quick on the draw when it comes to nomming on them so that way they don't give you a hard time. I'm gonna eat your flesh there. And you did not heal as much as I thought you would. Oh well. I'm gonna wait for you to drop down just so I can get all that experience because every little bit is going to help. The straw lights whisper to one another. If we can move along the bottom of the sea without sticking, we would not have to be ruled by the Karasalach. Shh. Speak quietly or the leader in the cave will hear you. So we're near the head honcho's lair here. This doesn't look good. So there are two entrances out of here. If you go above the cave and go to the right, you'll go to the land, but you won't be able to do anything there. And if you get out of the water, you will start losing hit points due to lack of oxygen and you'll have to get back in the water in order to save yourself. So we need to go into the cave here. And once we go into the cave, we can't go back a go back out. This is the king of the Karasalaches. Huh? Who are you? Knowing this is the domain of the Karasalach, king of the sea. Why are you here? Are you not trying to help the Strolites build a new world? Well, this world has to have oxygen. The sea is the only world. I will defeat anyone who helps the Strolites. And this guy just wails on us. We just lost about half our hit points just like that. Trying to attack the king of the Karasalach with your bite attack is going to be a pain in the butt. So here's what you need to do. You need to equip the spiraled horn, which is only 300 points. The original horn isn't strong enough. The angler's horn does basically nothing for this fight. And the swordfish horn will give you a rather nice pointy bill, but you lose whatever jaws you have until you lose the horn. You'll basically have the face and jaws of a swordfish, so don't get the swordfish horn. Let's get, let's get the styled, styled, the spiral horn. And just keep stabbing this guy. Wait for him to stop swiping with the tail as a counterattack, then hit him again with the horn just by dashing into him. You'll get 10 hits, a, you'll get 10 hit points a pop every time you hit him by doing this. Of course, the horn will break, but at least you'll get a heal out of it. Okay, I'm on horn. Okay, I got another couple of hits. Alright, I need you to get away from me so that way I know that I can do this. Gonna go ahead and get another spiral horn. I need to wait until he does that. Guy has about 80 hit points, and after about 8 stabs from the thing, you'll be able to get a bunch of sushi. You'll be able to get 4 pieces of sushi worth 250 evolutionary points each. There's supposed to be 4, but I didn't have the have the screen scroll to the right all the way, and when that last piece went into the wall, it pretty much went off screen and therefore I can't get it. But it's not like the evolutionary points are going to be a be anything important as soon as you're going to find out because we're going to lose them all pretty shortly anyway. So let's go ahead and get out of this cave. And as soon as we do, we have all these air bubbles. As soon as you move to the left, you get some dialogue. We are the Strolites. Outside the sea, a world filled with oxygen is being born. The entrance is here. So you get some happy music. 
and you can go to the right above the cave entrance to go to the coast of Panj, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the thing that you're supposed to do. And apparently because I kept dashing or something, maybe, I guess, I just kept dashing when I made my way here because I didn't enter a new area. By holding up and right and jumping to this, we can make our way to land and we have legs in our fish form. And because we have oxygen, we're not dying every couple of seconds, which is a good thing. Make sure to write it right and you will get even more dialogue. I am Gaia. The fish age has lasted about two billion years. As it ended, it gave way to the beginning of a new world. One filled with oxygen. It is called the Land Age. The strolites and plants have already begun living here to prepare a better place for those who choose to follow. Here is a present for surviving the Fish Age. Surviving. Thanks, game. It is the body of an amphibian. You have lungs so that you may be that you may breathe, and you may also move about the ground freely. A new adventure awaits your new body, so great power please give this creature a new body and we get a brand new amphibian body and we lose all of our stats and all of our hit points we now have a fresh slate to work with again let us go to the era where the creatures reach land we shall use the time trans and Gaia opens a portal for us and we can go on to chapter 2 in this new body where we will have to build up our stats and our evo points again. The next stage is the Age of Amphibians. Let me get a drink of water here. Or tea, rather. Ugh. Amphibians, Ikusteka, and insects which were the first to arrive have already lived on land. That's better. Now I can do my Gaia voice. There should be a lot of large plants growing there, but something is wrong. Chapter 2, Early Creatures of Land, 300 to 230 million BC. So, we've gone quite a bit forward in time. We've jumped a bit ahead. But we still have some work to do. And we have only one place to go, so let's go to it. It's more of the coast of Panj. And we're not very fast. We can't jump very high. Our jaws are not the best. How's our capability? We have... We have some sorry stats right here. And I was able to jump up there right easily, but you're supposed to just jump up to where the yellow crystal is and then up to there to the left where all these hermit crabs are. But we do have a yellow crystal. Now give us a hint. Evo tip. Welcome to the world of amphibians. If you evolve your tail, you'll increase your jumping ability and your HP. That is something we should probably keep in mind. Also, these guys are virtually harmless, and they heal three hit points with each one to eat. So this will make for a good healing spot in case things go bad. So we got what looks like... No, they're both the same size. Let's go over here and see what happens. Empty land. Well, there's not much here. I mean, you can eat these plants. You hear someone whispering in the air above you. Captain, the green crystal has the power to change your body back to the way it was before, doesn't it? Yes! Don't know how to pronounce that. But Captain, isn't it wrong to operate the process in reverse? This crystal must be bad for the evolution process. Absolutely not. 
I will not take responsibility for anything that happens. It is still good for the future of this planet. Weird. Well, we could eat the crystal here. Nothing happens. I guess if you had another form... You could use it... To change back to your previous form in case you saved, like, a red crystal or something. I guess. I've never found any use for them. But by going through here, just by going to the right... We get nothing. So we have to go all the way to the left. And from here, we have ourselves a nice little journey through the ocean of Panj. So we're gonna have to go to the east, or rather to the west. I can, now, I can never get east and west right for some reason. So we need to make our way to the west. As we jump in the water, we suddenly have a more frog-like form. I mean, we're technically we're still an amphibian, but we're now more fish-like because evolution is allowed for it. And if you could stop nomming on me, that would be great. At least there's plenty of seaweed I can eat. Um, we are koala fish. It is very difficult for us to evolve or fight against other creatures, so we stay as we are. And yet, you still happen to be very aggressive anyway. Why are you absolutely wrecking me? I don't get it. Now, interestingly, as long as you don't bother them, they don't bother you. That's usually a good thing. I still want some Evo points. I still want to make it so that I can actually do some things and defeat some enemies. And as much as I would like to have a tail, I feel like having better jaws would also work just as well. And it looks like I'll have to evolve things as I go and take some time to just you know, met myself better and better. So anyway, you have to jump out of the water once you reach the end, and when you do, you'll have to go through here and go all the way to the right, just so you can clear this area and go on to the next. And here is the land of Timid Ikustega. You could fight these guys, but the instant you approach them, they are going to run away. In our present form, we cannot do anything against them. Also, there are mosquitoes running around here, too. There we go. Apparently, I can fight these guys after all. I just gotta be... I just gotta have the right timing. There we go. So you can fight these guys. It is better to evolve yourself, though that way it is easier to destroy enemies. And by going over here, to the north, we'll enter another world. The land of Bull Ikustega. Now these guys are greener and meaner. These guys will not only bite at you, but they'll also try to Mario you as well just by jumping on you for some extra damage. Just running up to you and just... Stomping you like Finn Balor. I have no idea if that WWE reference will date this video or not. Then again, people will probably still call him Finn Balor even after he leaves the company. So it's not really going to matter, is it? In case I didn't mention the mosquito, yeah, you if you can up your stats, you can actually fight those things for some experience and health, which is really good. So I definitely want to work on getting that. And here is one more area that I'm going to do for this video. I don't want to go to the next one because if you're not evolved in any way, 
when you go to the area after this one, which is the Land of Amphibians, you are going to get wiped out. And you will be brought back with half of your Evo points. Get out, stranger. This land is owned by the Elder who takes care of plants. So... Oh, we got these guys, too. These little tiny Triceratops enemies that will try to headbutt us. Can you not? Can you not? Can you please not? Okay, so I got a little bit of healing. Got a little bit of healing off of that. And I got some flashing meat off of that too, which was really good. Please don't kill me. You know what? Oh! I forgot all about this. Let me take care of some evolutionary stuff first. Okay. No, that's capability. I need to look at... The first option. Um... Hmm. Well, I'll just go ahead and go with the power tail for now. And I guess I'll also do the Ikustagus Jaws. That should probably give me a little bit of an edge. It does. I can now one-shot all of these guys, which is really good. Also, there is a day and night cycle here. And if we go through here... While the Bull Ikustega are in the area at night, the Ikustega will be asleep. And you can just get to jump on them without having to worry about being damaged. So we got ourselves a little bit of evolutionary things going on. What I need to do is go through the next area. Or, well, I need to go through the next area. But I just, but I want to go through the one that I was just at and spend like 20 to 30 minutes there and see how much experience I can get now that I have the Ikustega Jaws. Because I can now wipe out anything in all the areas we've been through thus far. I'm not going to go to the Ocean of Panj because that's those Koala fish give sorry experience. They give they give very little experience. Like only four for every one that you beat up. So I'm just going to stick the Ikustega in the Land of Amphibians. And then once I get enough points, I'm going to evolve my character on screen. And then I'll take on the next area. Because there will be another boss battle in the next area. And if we're not... If, our, if we have, like, terrible stats, we're not going to stand a chance at all. So join me next time where we go through the next area. And explore even more of the Land of Amphibians. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe, and thanks for watching!